Hello and welcome to the Daily Official Bible. I'm Ari Yates. After such an interesting weekend, I find myself with a much less active day today. And it is good to be in a position to work on today's reading without feeling rushed to get it completed. Too often we rush through life and don't stop long enough to read God's Word. And I wonder why so many of us rely on out of context verses to live by. Perhaps if we took time to read around the verses and see what they said in context of the rest of the scripture, there would be less disagreements on what the Bible says, and less opportunity for the false teachers to twist the verses to say what they wanted them to say. Read in Deuteronomy chapter 12 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. We also ask that as people hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. Amen. These are the laws and the practices which you shall observe to do in the land which Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has given you to possess it, all the days that you live on the earth. You shall surely destroy all the places in which the nations that you shall remove serve their gods, on the high mountains and on the hills, and under every green tree. You shall break down their altars and dash their pillars in pieces, and burn the Asherah poles with fire. You shall cut down the engraved images of their gods, you shall destroy their name out of that place. You shall not do so to Yahweh your God, but to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, you shall seek his dwelling place. And there you shall come, there you shall bring your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, and the wave offering of your hand, your vows, your free will offerings, and the firstborn of your herd and of your flock. There you shall eat before Yahweh your God. You shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your households, in which Yahweh your God has blessed you. You shall not do, after all the things that we do here today, every man, whatever is right in his own eyes, for you haven't yet come to the rest, and to the inheritance which Yahweh your God gives you. But when you go over to Jordan, and dwell in the land which Yahweh your God causes you to inherit, and he gives you rest from all your enemies around you, so that you dwell in safety. Then it shall happen, that to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, cause his name to dwell there, there you shall bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the wave offering of your hand, and all your choice vows, which you vow to Yahweh. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God, you and your sons, your daughters, your slaves, and the Levite who is within your gates, because he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Be careful that you don't offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see, but in the place which Yahweh chooses in one of your tribes. There you shall offer your burnt offerings, and there you shall do all that I command you. Notwithstanding, you may kill and eat meat within all your gates, after all the desire of your soul according to Yahweh your God's blessing, which he has given you. The unclean and the clean may eat of it, as of the gazelle, and as of the deer. Only ye shall not eat the blood, ye shall pour it out on the earth like water. Ye may not eat within your gates the time of your grain, or of your new wine, or of your oil, or the firstborn of your herd, or of your flock, or any of your vows which you vow, nor your free will offerings, nor the wave offering of your hand. But ye shall eat them before Yahweh your God, in the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, you, your son, your daughter, your slave, and the Levite who is within your gates. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God, in all that you put your hand to. Be careful that you don't forsake the Levite, as long as you live in your land. When Yahweh your God enlarges your border, as he has promised you, and you shall say, I want to eat meat, because your soul desires to eat meat, you may eat it meat, after all the desire of your soul. If the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to put his name there is too far from you, then you shall kill of your herd and of your flock, which Yahweh has given you, as I have commanded you, and you may eat within your gates, after all the desire of your soul, even as the gazelle and the deer is eaten, so you shall eat of it. The unclean and the clean may eat of it alike. Only be sure that you don't eat the blood, for the blood is the life. You shall not eat the life with the meat. You shall not eat it. You shall pour it out on the earth like water. You shall not eat it. Then it may go well with you, or your children after you. When you shall do that which is right in your eyes. 
only your holy things which you have and your vows you shall take, and go to the place which Yahweh shall choose. You shall offer your burnt offerings, the meat and the blood on Yahweh your God's altar, and the blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out on Yahweh your God's altar, and you shall eat the meat. Observe and hear all these words which I command you, so that it may go well with you, and with your children after you forever, when you do that which is good and right in Yahweh your God's eyes. When Yahweh your God cuts off the nations from before you, where you go in to remove them, and you remove them, and dwell in their land, be careful that you are not a snare to follow them. After that they are destroyed from before you, and that you do not inquire after their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? I will do likewise. You shall not do so to Yahweh your God, for every abomination to Yahweh, which he hates, have they done to their gods. For they even burn their sons and daughters, and the fire to their gods. Whatever thing I command you, that you shall observe to do, you shall not add to it, nor take away from it.